So this is just a quick review of um, concepts of imaginary numbers that I would have expected you to learn in Algebra 2. Um, to begin with, we know that, um, that i itself is equal to the square root of negative 1. It's an imaginary number. Um, and so then when we square that, if you take the square root of negative 1 and you square it, that gives you just negative 1. So i squared is equal to negative 1. Um, when you think about i cubed, this could be described as i squared times another i, which would be, well, negative 1 times i, and so it's just negative i. There's the negative sign. Um, and then if you take i to the fourth, you have, um, you could think of that as i squared squared. So that's negative 1 squared, um, and that gives you your positive 1. And what happens is that as you keep going beyond that, say i to the fifth, i to the fifth could be i to the fourth times i, um, which is just equal to i, because that was positive 1 times i. Um, and so you find that you have this repeating pattern that goes, um, it goes i, so sorry, it goes i, negative 1, negative i, 1. Um, sorry, I didn't get that written very nicely. But um, yeah, i, negative 1, negative i. 1. And everything, um, any power of i just kind of circles back to that. So if you wanted something like i to the 50th power, well, we know that that would be like i to the 48th power times i squared. Well, 48, that's a multiple of 4, so that just becomes positive 1, and then i squared is negative 1. So i to the 50th power is equal to negative 1. The next thing I'd like to look at would be how to rationalize the denominator. Um, and so our goal is to get rid of um, the imaginary numbers in the denominator. Um, on this one, I intentionally wrote this backwards just to, um, we're used to seeing the real part and then the imaginary part. Um, and so I want to make sure that you realize when we go to multiply, the conjugate of this is not 2i minus 5. That, that's not the case because that changes the sign on the real part, and we want to change the sign on the imaginary part. So I'm assuming that you have a working knowledge of how, um, how this goes. So then I end up, I don't know if this is a nice pretty problem or not, but then I end up getting what, 15 um, plus 5i minus 6i minus 2i squared is currently my numerator. My denominator, this is a plus b times a minus b, which gives me a squared minus b squared, so that's 4i squared. i squared is negative 1, so this becomes a plus, this becomes plus 4. So our denominator becomes 29. Um, so that's in the denominator. And the numerator, this part right here, becomes, well, that's a negative 1 times a negative 2 is a positive 2. So I have that 17 um, minus i over 29. Some books, and sometimes ib, will say write it in the form a plus bi. Um, and so then we just end up getting 17 over 29 minus 1 29th times i. And that puts it in that a plus bi form. Uh, quick little review for you. There you go.